we're here with River Finn from season 15 of Leaderboard. And mm -hmm. do you mind introducing yourself and your roastery for the players? Yeah, hi, uh, I'm Reed, the founder from River Finn Coffee Roaster. So we work directly with small farmers and nurture the relationship to highlight uh, Asian specialty coffee. So I go out to their farm during harvesting uh, season to check on their crops and new quality assurance. So we also pride ourselves with our artisan roasting methodology that represent the beans, terroir, and culture. Moment of truth, what was the coffee that was included this season? Yeah, so it's a catamore variety, a natural process grown on the highest mountain in Vietnam called Lang Bang, located in the Lac Dung region. So the altitude is 1500 to 1650 meters above sea level. It was uh, roasted on a stronghold S7X. If you looked at the coffee, would mm -hmm. there be that would maybe give it away to you, like about all the specifications of the coffee? Yeah, so uh, unfortunately this bean is visually difficult to tell since Catamore is a hybrid between a Cator and a Timor. So by looking at the green bean, uh, it's more like green, bluish green color. If you look at the shape, you, you won't be able to t tell. The bourbon here, right? It, I would say it looks exactly the same, but in the tasting, there are some characteristics that you can pick it up. So let's dive into it. What would be like the tells if you tasted it that gave it away that it's a Vietnamese catamaran? As you know, like every area is different because this particular catamaran is grown on Lang Bang Mountain Plateau. It is very rich in uh, volcanic red Oil. So this gives the coffee a tropical uh, fruit characteristic and a subtle floral. But you will notice like a dark oak flavor, which is a trait of a catamaran. In the aftertaste, you probably can detect like more of a smoke than a robusta. Um, what made this one stand out to you that you were like, we need to add this one to our menu? So yeah, so this coffee, it holds a special place for me as it is grown by the co-ethnic minority. They are one of the oldest group in the Central Highland. They mainly live uh, on the mountains. They actually are amongst the first to cultivate coffee in Vietnam with seeds introduced during the French uh, colonization uh, era. When I met a producer and the co-ethnic family in the winter of 223, I remember, on Lang Bang Mountain, I had the privilege of learning about their rich culture and the entire coffee life cycle. They spent extensive time uh, sorting the beans for the effect, not only using sorting machine but also afterward they manually sort to make sure there's no defect. Being Vietnamese myself, I feel like a close connection uh, to the people there and a common love of a coffee that is integral to Vietnamese culture. So this inspired me to source this unique coffee and add it to our menu. What's the most exciting thing that Riverfin is working on? So I got some special coffee beans uh, that I was able to source from my trip to Asia last year. Some uh, legendary producer. I'm working on some exciting new fine robusta, creating uh, brew methods for brewing both robusta and arabica using our custom uh, bin brew device that we will be launching soon. Here you can see behind me here is some fin. This is not what would be the final product. This is just a uh, prototype. I, w I want people to be able to brew coffee using this uh, device.